So over the past several months, we've witnessed a pretty significant surge in the number of individuals working from home. Now, in most cases, that comes along with a borrowed PC from your respective workplace or school. However, in some cases, you must use your personal computer, and with that comes a wide array of potential risk and issues. So there are two types of accounts within the Windows 10 operating system, the standard account and the administrative account. So when you first purchase your computer from your respective retailer, you come home, you boot up your system, and voila, you are logged in as the administrator. Now this is by design because without the system administration privileges, you wouldn't have the ability to install applications or create additional user accounts. Now, the downside to being a user with administrative rights is that you could accidentally delete files or folders that could completely disable your machine. So in today's video, we're gonna do two things. Number one, we're gonna create the standard account. And number two, we're gonna download and install Malwarebytes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create a local account. So you wanna go over here, come down here and click your window. And then you wanna type in control panel. Should already pop up, there we go. Control panel, and you wanna go to this section here, user accounts and then click that and then it says change account type uh we just want to go to user accounts here, here we go so it says you can make changes to my account we can change my account name account type or i can manage another account so i want to manage another account it's asking me for my password now because my system is password protected and yours should be as well now these are the users on this particular system. Here's mine, it's my daughter Erica, my daughter Michaela, and admin. We're in good shape. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to create a, another local account, all right? So we're gonna go here, it says add user account. It's asking us, do you have an email address to associate this account with? So what it's looking for here is it's looking for a Microsoft email address so you may have like a hotmail and they want to associate that hotmail with your account here so we're going to say no or just basically skip that um, so we want this local account let's just give it a username okay so let's call this um my new user 2020 we're going to hit next all right and that's it hit finish and there you go folks and so we're going to go to malwarebytes.com and we're already here all right so then okay so to download here we're gonna take a look at what's on the screen here we got the personal we got business you got pricing so for our purposes we want to focus on personal so let's go to personal here as you can see here they have malware bytes for windows mac chromebook etc again you can use this not just for windows but for mac and chromebook so let's go ahead and go into windows since the purposes this video is focused on Windows. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and just click the free download. Okay, so as far as the download, once you click this, I'm not gonna click it because I've already installed this onto my system. Once you click it here, it's gonna download it into your download folder. And then you can just go ahead and, you know, when it gets there, just go ahead and double click it and run it. It'll then install it onto your system. You know, it's pretty simple. And then once it's installed, you can go ahead and come here into your um, programs here start menu and then find your program find malware bytes mine is over here as a shortcut go ahead and run it and when it runs it oh, I just finished with a thread scan so here's the basic layout of how it looks I want to show you this just to show you how easy to use it is all right so you can go ahead and scan your system if you want to uh, it's pretty simple there you can set up a scanner where it can scan um, at a particular time during the day or it can scan every week, whatever you want, right? And then the detection history over here shows you where, you know, it just gives you the history of all the things that were quarantined. And once it finds some malicious software, or some type of virus, it's gonna quarantine that particular item or pull it off to the side. The main thing you wanna do is just download and install it and go ahead and immediately scan your system to see if there are any threats. And I'm just going to go ahead and scan it now just to show you like how it works. 
Okay, so this is assuming that you have the free version, you would just go ahead and manually hit scan and it would scan your entire system to check for viruses. Again, if you have the real-time premium version, it will give you real-time protection. So anytime you're surfing on a website, it will actually uh, run in the background and any sites you go to that uh, the system deemed as harmful, it will then quarantine that particular system or just block it all, all together so you can't get to that particular website. Okay, so we're gonna close that out. We're gonna go ahead and close this down and that's basically it, guys. I mean, you know, it's up to you if you wanna get the free version or the real-time protection version, but just go ahead and download and install it. Again, I've been using this for 10 to 15 years and it's never failed me. It gets rid of the viruses that are hard to detect and the ones that are um, hard to delete. So I think it's worth it to get the premium version if you can. And then also if you want to get the version that adds the VPN, you can get that as well. But we'll talk more about the VPN later. VPN, also known as Virtual Private Network, provides privacy as you surf the internet. Advertisers and or respective hackers cannot see your location or IP address. Instead, the VPN server shares generic information for these attributes, which makes it a little more challenging to determine who you are and where you're located. The key takeaway here is this. Although VPNs provide privacy, they do not provide protection. So if you're using a VPN but still logged into your computer as an administrator, you are in fact vulnerable. No, the hacker can't see your exact location, but they can send malicious software, software that if downloaded and installed into your computer, a computer with administrative privileges enabled could easily take over your machine. So do the right thing. If you're using a VPN, make sure that you also have an anti-malware, antivirus software application installed. And in conclusion, there are only two things you need to do guys. Number one, download and install Malwarebytes. It's simple, it is relatively easy, and it works. Number two, create a standard account. That's it, that's it. How are you guys feeling? Feeling good about protection? All right, this is it. I mean, we're working from home. You know, we don't know how long this is gonna be going on, so you gotta do your best to keep your system safe. All right, don't let technology be a bear, all right? We need to embrace technology, and if you have questions or issues, you need to reach out to somebody you know who knows what they're doing, who can help you out, and get you through those rough spots. And there's no need to be sitting at home saying, oh my gosh, like, what did I do or what did I hit, you know? You need to reach out, get help. I can help you. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and come back for future videos. Take care, guys. Peace.